Hello Python programmers. So in this video, I'm going to show you that I can create a Python program which will track your location from your public IP. Then we'll use that information of the latitude and longitudinal coordinates to to locate your location on a folium map. So this is not that accurate because there you can see it's showing my location in Lucknow but I am currently all the way over here to Prayagraj but still but still it's pre it's pretty decent and it's a good project to work on so first of all let me walk you through that what is the blueprint of this project or how we are gonna achieve this uh, output first of all what we are gonna do here is we are gonna use the request library and scrap the data from here there you can see from the ipinfo.io website we'll uh, just extract all the data and by this data we can extract the latitudinal and longitudinal location and then from that we will locate on a volume map so if you are new to Folium map and want to know a more deeper insight of how Folium map works then you then you can watch one of my video where I have explained the Folium map in a lot detail the link will be provided below so first of all let's see what is the system requirement for this project or what packages we require here you need two packages first is request uh, which will help us to extract the data from this website and second will be folium so just write pip install requests press enter and then we need to install folium folium So for me the requirements are, s are already satisfied because I have already installed this. Okay so with all the packages installed let's get to our editor and start writing our code. Okay so first of all let's start with the part where we extract the information from that website. So we'll first uh, import requests requests and then we'll create a res variable then we'll write request.get to get all the information from this website uh, let me extract the url so we'll extract the url from here okay okay so then what we are gonna do is we are gonna create a variable let's call data and then we'll convert this res uh, data into a more understandable format by our program which is, uh, which is into json format so we'll convert into json now let me first show you that what is the output that we'll get into this data so you can understand more clearly so it's having a list here with all these values and we want some specific values here the location which is latitudinal and longitudinal so what we'll simply do here is let me uh, minimize this here and we'll comment this out okay so we'll create a variable location and then from data what we'll extract is our loc uh, index there you can see that this is our uh, index that we have to extract and then we'll split it into two 
because it's having two values first is the latitude and then second is the longitude here you can see this one is the latitude and this one is the longitude or I'm saying the opposite <laughs> okay so let's create our two variables first is lat for our latitude and it will be a float value it will be location of the index 1 and then we'll create a longitudinal let's say longitudinal log and it will also be a float which will have the location of 0 now let me show you why I am writing this 0 and 1 because there you can see uh, if we extract this log index then we are having two values which is comma separated and at the zeroth of the comma separated is this one which is the latitude and this one is the longitude 26.8393 is our latitude and 80.9231 is our longitude so so now we are done with our first part where we have extracted the latitude and longitude of our current location now let's work on our folium map to uh, exactly exactly mark on our folium map so let me create some space here and then we'll import our folium okay okay so first of all what we are gonna do here is we are gonna create a feature group and if you want to understand folium into more detail then I would insist you to watch that video first where where I have explained you what are feature groups what are child and everything which is related to folium map because I want to make this video as short as possible okay so we're gonna create first a feature group then we'll add component to this layer or we'll add child to this layer uh, folium dot geo uh, json make sure that this g and this j are capital okay so and the data here provided is uh, open and first of all we are creating the uh, boundary conditions for our India which is my country uh, so many people have asked me the question that where they can download the uh, JSON coordinate of their country actually it was really hard for me also to find the coordinates I found it into one github uh, repository I guess I don't really remember where I found it so I really have no idea where you can find for your country so sorry for that okay so the file name is uh, indianstates.json okay so this is indianstate.json indianstates.json okay then this is in the R mode the encoding is UTF-8 sig and then we'll simply read out this data okay so now we have created the boundary conditions let's add the child of our uh, markers now if you are sticking to this video only let me try to explain you here only that uh, how these things are working this is a layer feature group is a layer and the add childs are component on that layer like this is our map and we are creating multiple layers this is our layer which we have created my map we have named this layer as my map there you can see and then on that layer we have added these uh, childs first is this uh, coordinate conditions and the second is this marker you 
you can have many uh, feature groups you can add many things here and if in future I create a more detailed video of folio map I will discuss it there but uh, let's work on this project more here <laughs> okay so fg dot add child and then folium dot marker because we are creating a marker here and it's er sorry and this m should be capital and this should be do uh, folium dot json sorry okay so and the location of our marker will be the la latitude and longitude that is the lat variable and the lo log variable okay this is what the variable is okay now we'll create our pop-up and the pop-up will be saying this is my location okay so now we'll move on to actually creating the map so folium dot map uh, this M should be capital here yeah, okay the location the location here is uh, the latitude and longitudinal this is the zoom location now there you can see you can adjust the zoom here there you can see you can zoom in you can zoom out so this is how it works and we'll define the zoom level here and the point of zoom is our latitude and longitudinal location and the uh, sorry zoom start here is seven let's say you can just experiment with this value then we'll add our child's or our layer components into uh, this map and we are having FG which is our feature group so from this feature group we are adding all our child's these two child's we are having in this feature group into our map variable this map okay then we'll write map dot save into let's say one dot html okay so let's try to save this and let's run this and i am having an error in valid syntax here okay so let me count the number of brackets here one two three four and we have closed one two and three only him so this is the problem with the brackets let's save this let's run this again and i guess it's working and we are having a error at here because this should be dot here let's run this again and my code can never work in the first try okay <laughs> so folium dot feature group my map because this f should be capital and this g should be capital okay no i don't wanna buy again an error no indian states dot json uh, because this is India state okay okay so now the code is working perfectly let me go back here one dot HTML let's open this so there you can see and where the hell am I where the hell am I okay so the location is not right <laughs> okay so this is latitude and this is longitude let me save this again and I hope this time it works because we have messed up with the 
latitude and longitude values so this is why I was found in the ocean near Greenland I guess yeah I was near Greenland yeah. so let's refresh this so back in India okay so this was it for this video and I will meet you in my next lecture bye bye